Good morning, friends. Welcome back in the online classes. This is subject TVS. Children, yesterday we have started with lesson number twelve, a need for food. Am I right? So yesterday we have seen about the need of food and the meaning of oil cake and ambon. Okay, do you remember? Okay, very good. So today we are going to see the food of different. Animals, okay, different food of different animals. People who keep cattle feed them grass and hay, and also oil cake and ambon. People, those who are keeping cows, okay, you can see here cow, okay, they give them oil cake and ambon. The meaning of oil cake and ambon we have seen yesterday. Besides grass and hay, horses are given Bengal grams soaked in water. And horses, you know, horses eat grass and hay. Grass, green grass. Okay, hay means what? The grass which is dried. So such a type of food horses do eat. But with that, people give them Bengal gram. In Marathi, we say har bara. Okay, which is soaked in water. They soak harbara in water and then give to horses. Goats and sheep eat the leaves of various kinds of shrubs beside eating grass. And goats and sheep can see here goat. They eat leaves of various kinds of shrubs. Shrubs means what? Small plants. Cats love to drink milk. Everyone knows that. Cat love to drink milk and also mice. Mice. They also hunt and eat birds such as sparrows, doves, and pigeons. Cat. Cats love to drink milk and also they eat mice and also they hunt and eat birds like sparrows. Everyone knows what is mean by sparrow, doves, and pigeons. These type of birds also they hunt and eat. Dogs may eat chapatis or bhakris. But they prefer to eat meat. Dogs like meat. Okay, so they can eat chapatis and bhakris also. People who keep dogs or cats give them meat and fish also. Okay, people give them meat and fish also to cat and dogs. In forests, animals like the deer, bison, and nilgai eat various kinds of green grass and leaves. In the forest, these animals are there: deer, bison, and nilgai. So these animals they eat green grass and leaves of the plants. If there are crops growing in fields nearby, these animals finish off those crops too. And these animals come to eat uh, crops in the field also. If there is field nearby, they come and eat that. Wild animals like The tiger and lion live in deep jungles. They hunt other animals and eat their flesh. So, wild animals like lion, tiger, you can see they hunt animals and they eat their flesh. Okay. Usually, these animals do not hunt in human settlements, but sometimes when they are starved, they are forced to enter nearby villages. Then. they kill and carry away cattle so these animals like lion tiger they never come in the human settlement human settlements means what where people are living okay these animals they don't come but uh, sometimes when they will not get food they will come in they can come in the human settlements and they can um, kill our pet animals uh, our cattle and they can carry them away many times foxes dare to enter human settlements but they are not as strong as tigers they cannot kill cattle they are mostly content with stealing fowl okay so foxes also trying same thing to come in the human settlements but they are not that much strong like tigers okay now next here page here is one question Why do farmers set up a scarecrow and use slingshots when the crops in the field are ready for harvesting? You can see here a man is uh, standing uh, in the field, and here is a crop ready to harvest. Okay, it's full of grain, and he's ready to uh, he's there 
with the slingshot you can see in his hand what is it this is nothing but the slingshot here the, he will keep one stone and he is moving it around in a round way and then throwing it so this is for what so you know here is a grain okay these are the these are the this is the field which is full of grain and here when it is ready to harvest that time birds are coming many different types of birds are coming to eat this grain so farmers grow variety of cereals and pulses in their field you know that and to save to protect his own crop farmers are using such a type of slingshots okay it is easily possible for birds to eat find grains in areas where people live that is why some birds live in such areas other birds feel feed on other kinds of food hence eat worms crows eat the flesh of dead animals some birds eat the fruits of trees so different types of birds have different types of food here you can see some birds they come in the flock flock means what they come in the group and they just attack on such a type of crops you can see here if i will show you one ear this is called as ear okay this is called as ear this is one ear of the of that particular plant and in this is full of grain okay so birds attack on such a type of crops and they can get grains easily here they can get their food so some birds they find food in such a way and hey you know that hens hens also bird hens eat worms worms everyone knows small small insects they eat crows eat the flesh crows eat flesh of dead animals some birds eat the fruits of trees am i right so there is a different food of different animals we see many small animals around us what do they feed upon now here we are going to see the food of some other animals okay you can see here in the picture we are going to see their food bed bugs suck people's blood see here this is a picture of bed bug okay we can find it in the house so these bed bugs they suck the blood of people okay so this is not good for the human being ticks suck the blood of cows and buffaloes same type of one another uh, one insect is there it is called as tick okay and usually we can find these insect on animals cows and buffaloes because they suck the blood of these animals house lizards and chameleons eat insects house lizard and chameleon you know that they eat insect they eat insect here you can find one insect in the mouth of the lizard caterpillars and some insects nibble at and eat the leaves of plant here you can see this is caterpillar okay this is the caterpillar and they nibble the leaves of the plant nibble means to eat slowly slowly to eat that full leaf of leaf of that plant butterflies feed upon the nectar they find in flowers and butterflies what is the food of butterfly butterflies they go on different flowers and they suck the nectar from the flower okay nectar it is a sweet juicy liquid they get it from the flower so they suck it and that is their food animals eat the food they find in nature however they have to wander from place to place in search of food so animals they have to find out their food in the nature they go from one place to another there are many types of mosquitoes most of them suck the sap from the plants only a few types of mosquitoes suck our blood so in the environment there are so many types of mosquitoes and you know that we uh, mosquitoes suck our blood but you know there are many types of mosquito and most of the mosquitoes they suck the sap from the plants okay sap is also one liquid which they are getting from the plants so they suck the sap of the plant okay 
they suck the sap of the plant and some mosquitoes they suck our blood human beings blood okay now let's turn the page here is a last point the food of plants now we have seen the food of animals now food of plants plants to need food but they cannot move from place to place in search of food then from where do you think they get their food the roots of plants absorb water from the soil some substances from the soil are dissolved in this water this water reaches the leaves of the plants there are many tiny pores or openings on the surface of leaves they are also tiny that is that we cannot see them only with our eyes air enters the leaves through these pores thus air and water comes together in the leaf in the presence of sunlight plants make their own food using the water and air in the leaves a plant's food is made in its leaves sunlight is necessary for this process see this picture children plants make their own food okay so what do they need you know these roots they suck water okay so they get water from the roots then here on the leaves of the plants there are small small holes okay so through that they get the air which is in in the surrounding they get the air inside so with the help of water air and in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight plants make their own food so remember that plants make their own food with the help of air water and sunlight understood i hope you understood what is the food of animals and what is the food of plants okay thank you have a great day